Okay, uh, so we're starting with magnetism, and here's the basic idea on why magnetism and electricity kind of go together. Okay, first part is A moving electric charge okay, causes a magnetic field. And this has an equation to it, and we're going to introduce that with our magnetic field. Magnetic field is given to us by the letter B. Okay, and it is equal to the force okay that is exerted upon a charge moving at a certain velocity okay the units for this are newtons okay newtons per amp meter okay newton so newtons this is coulombs per second, and this is meters, right? You can follow me there? Okay. And uh, this, this unit of one newton per amp meter is equal to one Tesla. Yes, the same guy. The, the F is Q and V naught, so its initial speed, essentially. Okay, the speed of the charged particle. Okay, so another way of writing this is that the force And so the force exerting upon a moving charge traveling through a magnetic field is QVB. The charge times its speed times the strength of the magnetic field. Now, a magnetic field that is a whole Tesla is really freaking strong. Okay, the, this, a, a one Tesla magnetic field is macho. All right, it, it's a pretty pretty freaking bad magnetic field okay so we usually deal with much smaller versions of it and uh, like we will send a test charge that has you know a micro coulomb on it like a millionth of a coulomb in order to measure you know a certain amount of force okay because they go really fast and since they go really fast the force is going to be great and so we don't want a whole lot of charge and and so on okay um Okay. Now, there's another version of this. We can rearrange this Q V naught because if this Q is Coulombs, right? And V naught is meters per second and B is our Tesla, right? We'll just deal with, we'll just call it B right now. The, instead of being a meters per second in a Coulomb, this could actually be Coulombs per second in a meter. And a Coulomb per second is our current times our field here uh, uh, s for seconds? Okay. Well, this is a coulomb per second. And this is just a char uh, this is a current, and this would be the length of a wire, and that would be the force. So another way of writing this is the force equals the current times the length of a wire times the magnetic field on it.
Okay, so that's this is the basic idea behind magnetic field. Um, now, th there are a couple things you guys need to know about magnetic field. And one of them is, unlike a charge where we used to have... Uh, Let's say we had a negative charge here. The electric field around the charge The electric field around the charge is going to be lines that are pointed right at the charge, you guys. You guys remember your electric fields here? Okay, from way back when. Okay. So if it's a negative charge, then the field lines go from positive to negative. But if we can have, it is possible to have just a negative charge. It is impossible to have a magnetic field that just has one charge. You can't just have like a north pole to a magnetic field or a south pole to a magnetic field. It, you, they are defined in terms of each other. Okay, so you'll have a north pole and a south pole, and every magnetic thing that you come across has these two poles. And so you'll have every single time you're going to have the, we use it as a bar magnet, but you'll always have a north and a south. And the lines go from north to south. But other than that, all the rules apply. We, we talked about li these lines before, where the lines never cross each other, uh, which essentially means they're parallel to each other, except they curve. But they curve along with each other. Um, and the more dense the lines, the stronger the field. Okay. Now, here's the next part about fields. And this part is really, really cool. Fields follow, or magnetic fields, and char charges moving through magnetic fields follow what's called the, the right-hand rule. And this is, this is cool stuff. We have to think in three dimensions here. Yep. Which is kind of cool because we live in three dimensions. All right, so let's say that we have a magnetic field coming this way, kind of out of the page, right? Coming at us out like that. All right. If we have a charge, positive charge, a positive test charge, moving across, Got you guys. So this is our Q V. Okay, this is the direction of our Okay, th this is the direction that our charge is moving. This is our Q V here. Okay, and this is our B. Okay. We take our right hand. We pace place our palm in the direction of the magnetic field. Okay. But our fingers in the direction uh, the trip the direction that the charge is moving. So it goes like that. Okay, so that means the direction of the force is the direction of your thumb. Okay, so we have these three we have three dimensions here. If our palm is this way, you know, I'm sorry, our palm is facing that way. So the palm is out that way. Here, let me, I'm going to zoom out here to give you a better idea of what's going on here. Our palm is that way, but my fingers here are in the opposite direction to where the charge is going. Yeah? So it really needs to go that way. So there, there's my, it has to be the right hand. 
Okay, that means that this charge is going to go down into the page here. Do you guys follow that? Okay, and so it's kind of funny because when you guys are going to take your test, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be doing. You're going to be rotating your hand around and figure. Okay, um, now we have ways of drawing this, and this is vector notation. Who we have new ways of drawing these vectors. If some, so I want you guys to imagine an arrow. Okay, so here's an arrow, here's an arrow, there's an arrow. Those are easy to draw. And in fact, we'll even give them tail feathers here. And there's a reason we're going to give them tail feathers. These arrows are easy to draw if they're in the plane of the paper. But if they're not in the plane of the paper, how do you show something that's coming up or down out of the page? Okay, well, imagine you have an arrow pointing at you. What do you see? You see the tip, right? You see the tip of the arrow. Well, the tip of the arrow, in this case, looks like that. Okay, so this is something that is coming towards you out of the page that direction right in fact if I get this just right yep there it is there's the point yeah and if the pen is pointing up out of the page then you see the tip of the point okay. so if it's pointing away from you if you're firing the arrow it's, it's going away from you what do you see okay you see the what you see the tail end of it right or the tail feathers and so tail feathers on an arrow in fact I don't want to draw a plus to confuse it with positive charge it's an X this means it's going into the page and away from you away from you into the page okay so we have the magnitude of the force that we'll find of of, of a charge that's traveling through a magnetic field and we have the direction it's going to travel so all of a sudden we have a force vector okay we have a, a magnitude and a direction of a force acting on a magnetic charge on, on an electric charge all right so i'm going to give you guys uh, give you guys a test here okay or something to practice okay if i have a whole bunch so th this is a magnetic field that is going what direction away from you or also known as into the page right so that would be what direction for your hand okay your palm would be facing down because your palm goes in the direction of yeah okay Okay, so that's the direction of our charge. What is the direction of the force? Okay, so take your palm. Palm's got to go face down. Okay, the charge is moving that direction. Which means the direction of the force is that way. Okay. So there's an interesting that happens with it. Interesting thing that happens with this. If this charge is moving through, and it experiences a force that is at right angles to the direction it's moving, that means it's going to change its motion, right? Okay. That if you're going this way and you experience a force, it's going to turn you. Well. That means if this thing goes through, it's actually going to take a path that looks like okay, and it'll continue curving. Because as it moves and it has a, it experiences a force as a right angle, okay, well that's exactly how we came up with if we here's our velocity and If that's our acceleration, 
What kind of motion does this lead to? You guys remember? If we go one direction, it, what's that? Similar to that, yeah, but but it, let's say we're out in, but that, like this is like gravity in space, right? So if we're in space, if, if we have gravity, okay, if we're traveling, if we're a satellite in orbit and we're traveling this direction, but we have gravity pulling us down, what's what's the shape of the motion that we're traveling in? In a circle, this. Is circular motion and that's what we get when we have a charged particle moving through a magnetic field okay so here's here is my right hand rule and yes this is actually my right hand and yes we're recording right now but the the idea is that we have this one going that way is the field we have that one is the current or the direction of the charge and then this one is the force and that's right angle right angle right angle okay and they're all at right angles to each other all right so that's that's how that works so that the hand is up is force index fingers i is for index okay middle finger is your is your field and F is your force. All right.